Hey guys, in just a few days, I'm gonna have a two-year-old daughter. And uh, let me tell you, it's taught me a lot. But one of the things that kind of stands out to me is the idea that she doesn't know things. Like we have to teach her what a car is. And so that's pretty easy. We look at it and now she identifies it's mommy's car, it's daddy's car, it's Nana's car. But as we build this understanding, the one thing that we tell her and that we talk about is love, right? I tell her, I love you, Reagan, right? And she, she says, I love you, daddy, right? And we're building that back and forth. But does she, how does she know what love is, right? If, if she grows up in my house, I have to teach her through my actions and through everything I do what love is. And that actually goes straight into a Bible verse. Of course, some of you are probably already thinking about it. It says, you know, this is how we know what love is, that God loved us first. And the thing is, when we grow up in homes and we grow up in places where we use the word love, that's what we understand love to be. Sometimes we have to empty our cup, empty up our own understanding in order to be able to make room for an understanding that's different than ours. If I grew up in a military home, my, own, my understanding of discipline, respect, and love would all kind of intertwine, right? But considering I didn't, you know, like there's other aspects there. So I have to sit and think, hmm, my understanding of love. And I have to look back at my family situation. I have to look back at the things that I associate with love. And I have to ask myself, is this what God says? Because in the end, a lot of us really want you know, to think that we have things figured out, but we have things maybe figured out in our way. But until we open up to the idea that God knows more, that God made everything, that God is bigger than our own understanding, and that he can, what he does, and how he acts and moves is love, then we are still living in partial truth of love. And maybe we always will live in a partial truth of love because we can't fully grasp what it means. But I can tell you this, in order to expand your understanding of love, you have to grow up in God's home because he is love. He's what we're all seeking after. So thanks for taking a minute.